Hello everyone and welcome to coding card. So in this session we are going to solve few recursion problem here. So you can see here two days ago I have posted few recursion problem and I have asked you to guess the output correct. So we will try to solve those problem here. So let us start with this problem. So let us start with this problem. Suppose this is our recursive function and here we are passing the value 2 in this function so what will be the output so here i will be explaining you each and every line and each and every call of the recursion so let us copy this code and guess the output like uh, now in this answer you can see here maximum people have voted for this 16 so let us see what is the output here so here i have taken one class rec now let us take one main and we have to create the function recursive function over here this was our function and we have to simply call this function with the value 2 so my function name is fun and i am passing the value 2 now since this function is called from the main which is static so let us make this as static now let us execute this one and see what will be the output so let me execute this one so you can see here it is giving 16 so here maximum people have selected 16 which is the correct output but how these things are working let me explain you line by line so let me cut this code and explain you how recursion is working here let me paste here and i will explain you line by line so we have called this function on with value 2 correct so this function will be called with value 2 here n value will be 2 now control will go in this if statement now here it is checking whether this n value is equal to equal to 4 if it is equal to 4 then we have to return n but here my n value is 2 so it will go in else part and in else part we are returning into and again we are calling the same function this is the recursive call so for this one again we have to call this function so let us paste again this function and this is calling this function with a value n plus 1 which is 2 plus 1 which is 3 now again we are here in if condition is this n equal to 4 no again it will go in else part and here we have written 2 into again here we are calling the same function so we will be calling this function again one more time so again one more time the same function will be called now here now here we are calling with the value n plus 1 which is current value is 3 here so here it will be 3 plus 1 which will be 4 now when the control goes in if condition over here now here my value is equal 4 equal to equal to 4 this is true so it will return the n value and this value will be returned and this value n which is 4 will be returned to the place from where it is being called so this total value will be how much 4 so here we have 2 and we got here return value which is 4 so 2 into 4 the value here will be 8 so this 8 will be returned so this 8 value will be returned from where it is being called so here my value will be 8 now it is returning 2 into 8 so it will be 16 it will be 16 and this 16 will be returned and this will be returned to the function from where it is being called so here the value will be 16 that's why it is printing here 16 that's why we are getting here answer as 16 so i hope this recursive call is clear means how we are passing the value and where it is checking the base condition if the base condition is not satisfied then we are calling the function again by giving some different value again here base condition is not satisfied again we are going in else part and else part we are again calling the same function by different value 
and here the base condition got satisfied so it will start returning the value from here so for each recursive call a stack memory is given like for the first recursive call one stack memory will be given for the second recursive call again one stack memory will be given and for this third recursive call one stack memory will be given so in this third recursive call so in this third recursive call our base condition was satisfied so from here the value will be returned so so in stack we follow the four last in first out correct so this was the top of a stack from here the value will be start returning to the call function so we got here return value four again this value was being called from here so again total value will be calculated and again this value will be returned this for the second call this one and again this value will be returned to the call function which was called from here and again after the total calculation this total value will be returned to the call function which was in our main like from here it will be 16 will be returned so you can see here after calculating all the value here the last value will be returned in 1 2 and here we are printing the value which is giving 16 so so i hope you understood how this recursive call works so if you have learned something new please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel coding cart and stay tuned for the next question this one next session i will explain you how this thing works here we are passing two values so i will explain you this problem in the next tutorial so thanks for watching